Anyone that knows me knows I love a good fact. I saw this while making this video, and it made me want to up my game and find more. These facts you're going to have to see to believe. I don't think it's a controversial opinion to say that Madre London is the best running back we've ever had in the ELF. The MVP wasn't in the league for long, but what he did in 2021 was special. He averaged 7.47 yards on his way to the first and currently only 2,000 yard ELF season. And this got me thinking, which out of all the great running backs have we had would lead in yards per game? Here's a chart of the top 25 players in ELF history for rushing yards per game. In order to qualify for this list, you would have had to have had five games played in the ELF. Glenn Tonga led the way last year with an excellent season in which he got over 1,400, and for rush yards per game, just got a touch over 122. Crawford, who's been on a scorched earth media campaign, has 2,145 career yards in the ELF with an impressive 97.5 yards per game. Anton Wiegand notably led the Vienna Vikings this season, with 60.92 yards per game, and also notably never fumbled. Zach Edwards is one of two QBs on this one, including Sean Shelton, the MVP from last season, 36.23 yards per game, which led all QBs. Mack, also of the Clone Centurions, managed to get himself 78.4 in a five-game stretch. And then all the way at the top, we have Madre London who had an astounding 223.22 yards per game in 2021. The NELF stat, you have to see to believe. However, even with Madre's unbelievable dominance in his first season with Cologne, there is another player that a lot of people think has a chance to break that record this year. The Barcelona Dragons are well accustomed to having excellent receivers. Carl Sweet is a triple crown winner, as I've mentioned hundreds of times in this channel, and Jean Constant is an Offensive Player of the Year nominee. Have you ever found yourself thinking, who has the most receiving yards in a game in Barcelona Dragons history? I have. That's why I made this graph. So here is every single 100-yard game in Barcelona Dragons history. Carl Sweet went off last year and got nine of them but does not hold the record for the most in one game. Jean Constant got seven games over his course with the Barcelona Dragons with over 100 yards, but didn't manage to crack the top three. Flores and Plu managed to get one each. Then, in week eight against the Cologne Centurions, Remy Bertalon finished with 271 yards. That's incredible, and it's well above anyone else on this list. But you might be asking me, is that the most receiving yards in one game ever in the ELF? Here is every single performance where a wide receiver got over 100 yards in a game in ELF history. There are many names that feature frequently. Jean Constant, of course, Jordan Bua, Turpin before he got in the Cowboys, Daplay Wolf, Reese Horn was outstanding for the eight games he was on the Galaxy, Marco Schneider, the Rookie of the Year, Geyer, another Rookie of the Year, Quofi, Ike Horn, Pounds and Jones, both legends of the league. Will Zek, another up-and-coming player. Mohanwu and Lenhart. Al Sweet and Malik Stanley, of course. Benat was excellent in Poland. Knurt is another player that has gone to CFL and has had prominent success in the ELF. Robertson and Meyer also rounding out some of the top 10 spots. Then just in front of Bertolon, we have Robitaille. In a Week 13 matchup, again against the Cologne Centurions, had 286 yards and 4 touchdowns. Is this the best game we've ever seen for a receiver in the ELF? I think probably. Four of the six of the most receiving yards in the game last year came against Cologne. And two of the six the year before also came against Cologne. However, this graph shows that the Stuttgart Surge still hold the unfortunate title of technically most likely to have 100 yards put on their head. Rather frustratingly also, there are exactly 99 games in which there has been 100 yards from a receiver. I hate that. We've talked about Barcelona's success with 100-yard games, and in 2021, they were actually the most in the league with nine. Every team did manage to get 100 yards in 2021, with at least one wide receiver. I was surprised to see the Galaxy only actually had one in the regular season, as did the Surge and the Hamburg Sea Devils. And then in 2022... Everything went a little bit crazy. 
We saw 29 100-yard receiving games in 2021. This is more than doubled to 70 in 2022. Teams like the Raiders, the Vikings, and the Rams had more than two players get 100-yard games this season. Teams like Galaxy just had one, but this shows that the crazy diversity in this league and talent that can achieve this milestone. Myself and Jamal Clay have theorized that this is the best receivers the Europe has ever seen in a collective. We have more players coming in with NFL experience and young stars that are making their name in Europe. Of course, with receivers improving, we also have DBs improving. But there is a possibility we could have 100 separate performances of players achieving 100 receiving yards in 2023. Will we see someone break 2,000 yards? And will we see someone get over 300 yards in a single game? I guess we'll have to find out. Until next time, thank you. Goodbye.